and this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Here's the heavyweight contender, Francis Ngannou. Of course, he has challenged for UFC gold. He learned a lot in that fight against Stipe Miocic, but for my money, this is the biggest power threat, punch for punch, in the UFC today. It's unbelievable the amount of power that Francis Ngannou possesses. But as you said, he learned in the Miocic fight because how could he not be learning? He's only been fighting for about five, six years. So this guy is truly a blank canvas. Every day, he's getting better and better and better. And he's one of the guys that you can see that before long, he will be wearing the UFC heavyweight title. And he has certainly given back to his native Cameroon, founded the Francis Ngannou Foundation. They have opened a gym over there. But Ngannou still with a lot of work to do here in the Octagon. And that effort continues in earnest here tonight. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bit. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, yeah. and that's not always the case. He believes. striker taking on a true five-tool play. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Just out of range with that left hook. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by the Predator, Francis Ngannou. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Oh, how about the right hand from Francis Ngannou? It's hard to watch. I can't imagine it feels off. You watch Francis put out an entire generation of heavyweight that came before him. Put out Overeem. Put out Velasquez. Put out Gonzalez. And he did it all with that beautiful right hand. It is one of the deadliest weapons in all of his martial arts. 25 total strikes have now landed for Francis and Gunn. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up. Fantastic takedown. And Ganu gets the single leg takedown. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Got clip with the right hand. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Gets right back up. I mean, what an angle. If he would have drove into his opponent, maybe he would have secured the top position. Good mark. Nice straight right lance. On his hook shot blocked, that one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. He's throwing every part. 
inserted himself into these big leg kicks. Got the single collar tie. And Ganu gets caught with that punch. Oh, nice. Choi's got the tie clinch now. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Nice punch there. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, so he lands another hook there. He's already landed several in the round, really starting to find some consistency with that weapon. He's finding a hole for that hook. He does a phenomenal job of keeping the elbow tight, really twisting his hip into that punch. Just out of range with the big one. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off of his feet, going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happens when this guy hits the double leg. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing bad. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. 20 seconds to go in round one. Both fighters back to their feet now. He loaded up that right hand, too. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Shore. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, DC, second round is getting Ready? underway. Round one, not the round of the year Let's necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch like this puts a smile on my face. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there, now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. All right, so Francis and Ghana pretty patient here early on and leaning on his jab. When you look at a guy like Francis, who has such tremendous power, fight behind a jab, it shows you how much he's evolving. He's not just searching for the knockout blow, he's trying to set it up. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, another brutal hook by him there. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. He was able to fight through them in the previous round. Still plenty of time to go in this one. Still plenty of time to go in this round. And if he is not careful, one of those hooks will put him to sleep. It's not over. It's not over. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Great punch, landed with so much power. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Beautiful takedown lane. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. A lot of 
Top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Ngannou. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity, and the hands look phenomenal tonight. Attempts the front kick there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Effective punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Secure that takedown with the round. And he landed the right hand there. Back and forth we go. In Ghana's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Great time. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. And it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Straight punch lands. And they separate. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Nice punch land over the top. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Good body work with that hook by Francis in Ghana. And now he's got that tight punch. This could change the fight with nothing to take down. Take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. He's landing a lot more than you. You can do better than that. Where's your head move? Where's your footwork? Okay? What have you been working on? All right, next round is underway, and somewhat surprisingly, he got out of that previous round without absorbing anything in terms of significant damage, despite the fact that his opponent was pretty offensive. His opponent was very active, but it seems as though he can see almost everything coming in his direction. He's so well-versed, he's so skilled in his defensive fighting that nothing is breaking his defenses. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. What a punch. Oh, huge left hand from Francis Ngannou. Every time he loads up and extends, you feel like the fight might be ending. Yeah, absolutely. And the whole crowd holds their breath. Right. right? You hear a big exhale. Every time Francis loads up to go finish a fight, you hear the crowd... Take all the air in yeah. because they're ready to explode. That's the type of performer, that's the type of fighter that Francis is. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. He does everything so well. Oh, beautiful entry as he secures the double leg takedown. 
Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, full guard here for the top fighter. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to pass to the next position, get the half guard so I can get my ground and palm off. Close guard. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. And they both stand up. Well, oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. That can't feel good. Leg kick. Oh, good kicks. Straight right, he misses. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. And they separate. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Try to establish that jab. Just missed with the left there. Punch coming, it's blocked. It's a good right hand right there. He had His lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Beautiful punch. So make it 188 total strikes have landed for Francis Ngannou. Well, more often than not, DC, when the strike has been thrown, it has found the home. 52% the accuracy down, rate cut against him. Take down, cut over and over to secure these takedowns. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. 20 seconds left. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Final seconds of round three. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat. Both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. 
misses with the left hook. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Choi. Now he touches him with the left. Oh, nice. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar side. If your opponent has... Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. Unbelievable! Oh, what a performance! Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night.